command control. Let's save the game. I think we're doing okay now. Explosive barrels. Don't even have to be red in this game. It's a bit, a bit claustrophobic for my liking. I'll leave him in there to die. Shoot up. I am shooting up. Look, see. There's no ability to look up or down in this game. It's all auto aim. So, like, you know, say, like, if I'm shooting here. Not oh fall down. Alright, you notice here I'm like shooting slightly you see how my bullet spread is like auto aiming upwards to try and hit the barrel, but then if I shoot here, it's shooting at the same about eye level. You gotta work on like a auto aim system in this game. Like I said, this is very, 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 very basic. Like I said, this came out in ninety Free. It was designed to be played with a keyboard only. Now I'm playing with a keyboard and mouse, but back then you'd had like the arrow keys, control, shift, and alt to control. To... It's ridiculous, like ridiculous. Oh yeah, there's no and like I said, no jump, no crouch. This is it. This is it. If I want to jump, I have to like do a running start across like an opening. Like that, gonna do a running jump. But if I don't have enough speed or momentum, uh, I just drop down. So that's the closest thing to a jump in this game. Oh, another rocket launcher. You know what? I'll treat you guys to the rocket launcher. Cause it can. Oh, I got the rare uh, damage animation and on the face. Look at that. Alien, the uh, I think Alien might have had the uh, ha might have had the uh, or like the Alien trilogy on PS1. I think it might have had the dual shock animation style, but it didn't catch on until like years later, maybe until like PS2 era, like Time Splitters or what have you. I don't know my, my mind goes straight to Time Splitters, maybe Halo. Oh yeah, RPG is a wrecking machine, oh god. Uh, Duke Nukem, you could look around. You could look around, you could look up and down in Duke Nukem. Because, and that, Duke Nukem had a lot more vertical gameplay in it, because you could have the jetpacks and stuff, and the swimming underwater. I think Duke Nukem might have been 95. But it was based on the same in engine, but it was a bit modified. I mean, you can buy, you can not buy, but you play source parts of Doom, source parts of Doom, where you can look a around and jump and crouch. But that kind of, I don't know, kind of kills experience for me and makes some levels kind of trivial. Like especially like, like dead simple in Doom 2. If you can jump in 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 Doom 2, then Dead simple is literally dead simple. You just jump on the middle platform and hit the switch. No mancubus needs to be harmed at all. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, time splitters. What do you think the What do you think the name Captain Ash came from? I mean, yeah, I'm called Ash, IRL, but you know, there's a character in that game called Captain Ash.
Ah. Now, uh, actually, I'm going to give a bit of trivia for this for this room. You know, some Doom fans might already know this, but the uh, map, uh, that little uh, tile in the middle there, it used to be a swastika, and it, and apparently that was going to be it was like a reference to Wolfenstein 3D, but obviously swastikas are bad censorship and sale effects. Uh, you know, bad. You know, they don't want. Overall, having swastikas in your game is usually bad for sales, so they had they patched it out, and all all releases of this game since have had this uh, map layout, this uh, map layout. But yeah, in the original release of Doom, uh, there used to be a swastika shape in this room. Bit of bit of trivia. Four boss lab. Oh my god, it's the level from the demo. 